present it in the best possible light for an investor slash new business owner too. Okay, so what are they looking for? Depends. Who are you going to sell it to? Some business owners who will offer you traditionally between um, two and three times what's either called seller discretionary earnings or uh, EBIT, earnings before interest and tax. Um, but really, they mean the same things. It's really the money you put into your back pocket, okay? They'll either offer you uh, two or maybe pushing it to three times that amount. So if your seller discretionary earnings are 100,000, you might sell your business for $300,000, for instance, okay? And that's very, very normal uh, business sale, cafes, things like that, uh, hairdressing salons, uh, poorly set up e-commerce businesses, they sell in that kind of range. And the person paying that will be absolutely somebody that's looking for a job. They want to buy the business because they want to buy themselves an income and they want to buy themselves basically a job, okay? And so for them, uh, their most important considerations is the is not so much the way the business is set up. It's more their ability to subsume the business and then start operating the business themselves. So offering, for instance, to handhold them whilst they do that would be a very, very good way of engendering the confidence that they need to acquire the business, for instance. Okay. But if you want to get four times your seller discretionary earnings, well, um, that's pretty easy to do. Um, what you need to demonstrate to get four times your seller discretionary earnings is you need to demonstrate good blue sky. You need to show that there is potential for the business that you simply haven't um, taken advantage of yet, but is just sitting there waiting for the next operator to get, okay? And depending on how, how well you present that blue sky, so for an Amazon business, for instance, the easiest blue sky is another country. Well, we're successful in Australia. Uh, we're also successful in America, but so far we haven't sold anything in the UK, um, but here's the results of the research we've done in the UK. Here's what it would cost to go into the UK. Here's what, based on what we're doing in these other marketplaces, you can expect from this marketplace. You wanna do the work for people um, as much as possible. And if you can do that, blue sky, then four, even five times uh, seller discretionary earnings is completely within the realms of reason. So that takes you from two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars up to four hundred half a million dollars. Okay. The next level. Uh, this is my favorite level. And it's also surprisingly easy to get to, but surprisingly few people will try to get there. And it's the money machine. It's the ability to turn your business into a money machine. What the fuck does that mean? Pretty simple. Businesses, um, when they're set up properly, are properly systemized in such a way that for every X dollar that goes in the front end of the business through marketing or whatever the related activity is, Y dollars comes out the arse of the business in the form of profit, okay? The more you can work towards getting your business to be a money cash ATM machine, you put in $1,000 at the front end, knowing full well that you'll get your $1,000 back plus another $500 for your trouble, that is a money machine, okay? And all that is, all that is, it sounds like, how the hell did you do that? But all it is, is systems. It's systems. That's all it is. So that you can see for um, your money, if you invest $1,000 in Google AdWords, then you know that from that $1,000 investment, you're going to make 
$3,000 in sales. Out of those $3,000 in sales, $1,500 of that is profit. You'll take your original $1,000 and you've turned it into $1,500. That's a ATM. That's a money machine. Businesses that have got that are valuable, super valuable, because they stop being businesses and become investments. Massive difference. They're treated hugely differently. And so if I can offer you anything, it's to get, it's to start working towards building your own ATM for yourself. I mean, what better thing to work towards than the knowledge that for every X dollars you put in, you're going to get Y dollars back. Okay. As long as that figure is more than X, you're a happy chappy. Yeah. So those businesses, well, you're talking seven, eight, nine times SDS seller discretionary earnings because they're investments. They're, they're purchased by different people. That's the, that's the thing, okay? They're purchased by people that want to make 10, 20% on their money, for instance, okay? That's who, they're, that's who they're purchased by. And so they'd look to put money in the front of it get money at the back of it. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We've got over two and a half thousand members and growing. We're the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs right here in Australia. And if you'd like to find out more about what we do, get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au and I will see you on the next video. Until then.